everybody welcome welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be going over the cost of living out here in cincinnati whether you're already planning on moving out here or you're considering it you're going to want to know what the well the, what the basic costs are uh, we're going to go over housing utilities uh entertainment so let's talk about it Hey everybody, I'm Bill Fritz with Living in Cincinnati and I am a licensed agent in the area. So as much as I like making videos like this, I love helping people with their real estate needs. Call, text, email with the information down below. So like I said, we're gonna be going over the cost of living out here in Cincinnati. We're gonna try and cover all the basics, everything you're gonna to need to know when you first move out here. So the cost of living out here in Cincinnati, depending upon what website you go to, ranges between 5 to 10% less than, than the national average. Uh, mostly, there it's right around 8%, so you can expect to pay 8% less living here than you do, it looks like, mostly out in the West Coast. Redfin has listed the, the median house prices right around $229,000. I think that's, that's a pretty good, pretty good price uh, when you compare it to other parts of the country. Now, the interest rate is still hovering right around 7%. Mind you, it's the beginning of February of 2023, it, it, depending upon when you see this. So that's, that's where it's at right now. So meaning if you buy a $300,000 house, you put 20% down, you have decent credit, you can expect to pay right around fifteen to $1,600. Uh, a month for the house payment. That's without uh, escrow. If you add in escrow, if you want to add in your taxes and insurance, you're going to look right around two thousand to twenty one hundred dollars a month for for your house payment. Now utilities. I'm going to use your basic two story, uh, two and a half bath house uh, to discuss utilities. Now electric, electric and gas are usually combined out here. Uh, they use Duke, and depending upon you know, what what part of the month it is, or what part of the year it is, um, you can expect to pay right around 180, 180 a month. Um, in in the winter time, like we had a pretty cold winter this this year, uh, you, you run the heater a little a little harder, run the furnace a little higher. Uh, in the summer times, it can get pretty hot out here, so you'll run your AC. And all that's combined in your electric and gas. Um, but average, you're looking at right around 180 a month. Now for water, it's water and sewer are usually mixed together. Uh, water has a minimum of $30 a month. So you're looking at right around 80 a month for water and sewer. And the summertime, when, especially like once you start getting into July, you'll probably start running your water a little bit more. So it'll probably, probably go up a little bit higher. So internet out here, if you are working from home, they have some really good high speed options. Um, we have Alta Fiber and Spectrum, which used to be Time Warner. Um, right now I'm paying $80 a month for high speed internet through Alta Fiber, and it's a Phi Optic cable, and I've had no issues with it. I have. A lot of things in the house are attached to it, um, and I, I really haven't had any problems. I did switch from Spectrum to Alta Fiber, and the only issue I've ever had was I had to replace the modem one time, and it's been fine ever since. So cell phones, cell phone out here, we have the three basic are T-Mobile, uh, AT&T, and Verizon. I have Verizon. I have five phones on my line, or five phones on my account and I pay right around $200 a month. And all five have unlimited data. I have kids in college and kids in school, so I had to get the unlimited data. So roughly that's what you're looking at. Now, as far as getting your car registered, I pay $82 a year uh, for my car. Or I, think, I think it just went up to $85 a year. I don't know the cost of, like, say you move up here from Florida to transfer it over from Florida to uh, Ohio, but I know that I pay right around $85 a year uh, 
to, to keep my car registered. So now, if you aren't working from home and you need to get around, gas prices right now just they range from anywhere between three dollars and eight cents. I've seen it all the way up to three dollars and forty cents the past two or three days. Uh, if you go to like Costco, it's they're down into like two eighty range. Um, so if you're trying to figure out what the gas prices are here in this part of the Midwest, uh, that's about where they are. I did get gas at United Dairy Farmers uh, last night and I was able to get six cents off a gallon and I wound up paying two ninety six a gallon. So that's that's where we're at right now. Now if you want to take the bus, the bus prices are two dollars to three dollars and seventy five cents. And then you can get a a uh, twenty four hour pass which ranges from four to five fifty and a thirty day pass for unlimited unlimited rides for 80 to 150 dollars now the higher amounts are for the suburban if you're if you're coming out from the suburbs down into the city uh, th that's going to be what those higher amounts are uh, if you belong to cincinnati public schools you can ride for half price as well as veterans get to ride for half price you just have to fill out a form verify your veteran status and you get to ride for half price now we also have the uh streetcar so if you're already downtown and you want to go like from the banks up to over the Rhine or just get around town down or get around downtown, uh, you have the streetcar and right now it's free. Uh, they went free during COVID and they haven't put a price back on it yet. So that's, that's actually a pretty good deal and uh, it'll get you from one part of the one part of downtown to the other. So now once you get here and you start looking for entertainment, uh, you're, we have Kings Island. So Kings Island is it's part amusement park, part water park. It's actually really a great deal. And for a gold pass right now, it's $140 and that includes parking. And you can just pick whichever one you want. You can go to the amusement park one day, go to the water park the next day, um, or do both. You can actually do both in one day. But like I said, it also includes parking. You can add on a food, a food plan with it. Um, it's really a great deal. If you plan on going to Kings Island you know, more than two or three times, highly suggest getting a, a gold pass. It is definitely well worth it. So we also have Sunlight Pool down at Coney Island. If you live down on the east side, down in the Anderson area, anywhere over there, a pass down there is $155. And that includes the, it's a large pool. There's a large kids area. Um, definitely well worth it. Now, if you do have kids, the Cincinnati Zoo is a great place to get a pass. Uh, you can get a family pass for $154 right now, and then you can move up levels. And each pass adds different items to it. You can bring people or get you into different events or whatever. But a family pass is like $154. Definitely well worth it. It's also, the Cincinnati Zoo is the second uh, oldest zoo in the country and home to Fiona. So if that's what you're interested in, I would suggest getting a, getting a pass. So those are gonna be the basic costs of living in Cincinnati. Now, like I said, I just used your two-story, uh, three or four bedroom, two and a half bath house. If you have a, a one bedroom apartment, obviously everything's gonna be cheaper. If you have a very large, uh, say five, 6,000 square foot house, it's gonna cost a lot more to heat it and cool it. So, but those are your just basic cost of living in Cincinnati. So I'm Bill Fritz with Living in Cincinnati, and I'm gonna be putting out tons of content about moving to, living in, everything about Cincinnati. If that's what you're interested in, hit the, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and again, call, text, email, and we'll get back with you. Until next time.